Welcome to the plot, Creative Folks in Triennial 2021. My name is Lee Pennington, and I'm one of the public programmers, and I will be talking through how to plan, personalise and take your friends, family or colleagues on a tour of your own design at a time, date and distance that suits you all. This session briefly introduces the Creative Folks in Triennial, the theme of the plot, the curator Lewis Biggs, the 25 artists in the 2021 Triennial. It looks at taking your own tour, the practicalities, it looks at memory and storytelling, questions and conversations that could be had, and to remind you that it is personal, it's your tour. At the very end, there are useful links that help you navigate Folkestone and access the public programme. Folkestone Triennial is one of the UK's largest exhibitions of newly commissioned work, and it runs from the 22nd of July to the 2nd of November 2021. Lewis Biggs has curated the Folkestone Triennial three times. And in 2014, it was titled Lookout. In 2017, it was titled Double Edge. And of course, in 2021, we have The Plot. Lewis is currently the Distinguished Professor of Public Art at the University of Shanghai and a trustee of the Liverpool John Moores Exhibition Trust. The Plot focuses on movement, circulation and narration. Lewis Biggs invites a visitor to be equally aware of stories and of the urban environment as sent through our bodies. A plot is a narrative. A plot can also refer to something tangible or verifiable, a plot of ground or a plotting graph. There's a place between those two meanings that is equally creative and interesting when plotting draws on both conceptual and material realities. Three plots. Plot A, St Ainsworth Way. Plot B, William Harvey's Way. And Plot C, the Milky Way. Plot A is named after a 7th century Kentish princess who started a religious foundation in Folkestone. Her name, St Ainsworth. The key words for this route is miraculous Folkestone, blue and brown, fresh water, dirty water, belief, entertainment and comfort. Plot B is William Harvey's way. William Harvey is one of Folkestone's most famous sons, born in 1578, died in 1657. He travelled to Padua to study medicine and was the first physician to describe the systemic circulation and properties of blood in mammals. The key words for that route is circulating Folkestone, red and blue, arteries, veins, learning, personal physical movement. Plot C is the Milky Way, which was the informal name for Ford Road South. In the last quarter of the 19th century, horse-drawn wagons hauled coal from the harbour up the Pent Valley to the gasworks and returned the same way, laid with chalk to be used as ballast. The road was stained black by coal dust and then white by chalk, making it look like the Milky Way. The key words for this route is post-industrial Folkestone, black and white, coal and chalk, labour and money. We invite you to pick up a map from the Quarter House on Tontine Street, or you can download them from creativefolkestone.org.uk. There are 25 artists and 44 artworks that can be found on the three plots. On screen now, you can see the names of the artists involved. For more information, including artist interviews, educational resources and more, please visit creativefolkestone.org.uk. The focus of this presentation is how to take your own tour. And the slides have been illustrated by artworks from the 2021 Triennial. So on screen now is Richard Deacon, Benchmarks 1 to 5, which can be found in King's North Gardens. So as we talk about taking care of practicalities, it's fair to say that if you wanted to take in plot A, B and C, it would be approximately 18,000 steps. On screen now is Morag Myerskov, Flock of Seagulls, Bag of Stolen Chips. The artworks cover Central and East Folkestone. So think about distance and duration. How much time do you have to spend in Folkestone? Do you need your start and finishing point to be somewhere specific? Consider the duration that your group can comfortably stand, chat and tour the artworks. What distance can your group cover? And what type of breaks will be needed? The artwork currently on screen is Bill Woodrow, The Ledge. This is your tour. So what do you know about? What do you like? Would you like to try skating on assembled skating situations on the Harbour Arm? Or would you prefer to watch? Some things to think about. Walking and talking can be slow. The larger the group, the slower it seems to move. So a good size is eight people. Eight means that everyone can participate without feeling constantly in the spotlight. And sometimes the best location to talk about an artwork isn't always where the artwork actually is. So move on and have your discussion elsewhere. On screen currently is Folks as an Art School by Bob and Roberta Smith. You should also plan for taking a break for children to play 
to have your pet lunch or you could try somewhere to eat and drink. Enjoy the views. There are lots of benches and places to sit to have a conversation. On screen currently is Ranabigam number 1054 Arpeggio. Plan B. It is more than okay to not complete your route. The best plans can get waylaid. On screen currently is Stephanie Bergman Blood Letters B. Come back a second or third time. There's always more to see and do. The majority of artworks are accessible 24 hours a day, but there are a few that have restricted opening times and there is one that needs booking. Shizard Darwood's The Terrarium is a VR experience and you will need to book. The Gasworks site can be found on Plot C, the Milky Way, and is open between 11 and 5, last entry 4.45. Here you will find the work of Morag Myerskoff, Jacqueline Donaghy and Jill Bradley. Fortune Here by Genuine Fake is on William Harvey's way, B5 on the map. It is open between 11 and 5. It was inspired by the Rotunda Amusement Park, formerly on the site, demolished more than 15 years ago. Guy Endeavour's Urban Room, which can be found at the bottom of Tontine Street and the Old High Street, is B4 on William Harvey's Way. This is open between 11 and 5, but also has an extended programme, which you can learn more about at urbanroomfolkestone.net. Things to encourage on your tour. Memories and storytelling. There will be people in your group who often have information about the artist, artworks and the town that you may not know. This is great. Some people do feel more comfortable starting talking with it published information. So remember, you can always use the maplet as a prompt or ask a trial host for more information. There are no silly questions. Questions and conversations. Ask open ended questions such as what do you think your creator is trying to communicate and describe by citing this artwork in this particular location? On screen currently is Gilbert and George Behave 2014, which can be found as you exit Folkestone Central train station. Here are some examples of questions that you could ask. Who do you know that would really like this artwork and why would they like it? What do you like about this artwork? Titled I Am Argonaut by Jason Wilshire Mills. If this artwork could travel anywhere in the world, where would it go and why? Remember, it is personal. It's your tour. You map it to plan to see the things that you would most like to see. Currently on screen is Marika Hori mowing the corners, a time capsule boulder that stands in for a topiary bush. It's made of pulamite and contains donated items from folks and residents. For residents, what would you most like to share your visitors about the town and what stories would you like to tell? What memories would you like to share? Visitors, what would you most like to see? And where would you most want to spend time? Who would you bring with you? Folks and sits right on the southeast edge of the UK. We're just an hour away from London by train and on a clear day you can see France. High speed trains run regularly from London St Pancras International coming in at Folkestone Central Station, which is a brilliant place to start your tours. By car, it's the M20 turn off at Junction 13 and follow signs to the harbour. There is parking available behind the courthouse and there are a number of parking spaces and additional car parks nearby on Tram Road, Pears Park and the harbour. The visitor centres for the Folkestone Tranual is based in the Quarter House and it's open daily from 10 till 5 and is well stocked with all the maps and brochures that you'll need and you can also book tickets for talks, tours and events. There is wheelchair and motorised scooter access to as many artworks as possible and we have done our best to highlight step free routes around the exhibition. However, due to the historic nature of the town, some artworks are less accessible and the geography of Folkestone means that there are hills. On screen now are two links that you may find useful creativefolkestone.org.uk and visitfolkestoneandhive.co.uk and when you visit Folkestone it is worth remembering that the permanent artworks there is 74 artworks by 46 different artists which are free and accessible 24 hours a day 365 days a year. These artworks are also highlighted in the plot maplet. For more information about everything Folkestone and the surrounding area has to offer you can visit visitfolkestoneandhive.uk. Folkestone is well served by public transport with frequent train services from King's Cross. Thank you for listening.